needs to have the law applied to him as it would anybody else. No, it's called the Presidential Records Act, because he is the executive branch. He's the executive branch. So he doesn't have to rely on some support. Here are the regulations. This is the way you do it, Mr. President. His power comes from the Constitution. He is a third branch of government. Him. He alone. Everything else flows from him. The framers created a president. They didn't create a CIA. They didn't create a special counsel. They didn't create an attorney general. They created a president. And this precedent that people are talking about, people need to pay attention to this. This was an Obama judge trying to help Clinton in 2012, and the Department of Justice should know all about it. And so should the National Archives. It was the case involving the socks, the sock drawer, and Judicial Watch. Now, what happened? Bill Clinton keeps these tapes, which had highly classified information on them, in his sock drawer, which is a little different than Sandy Berger, who kept them in his pants. But nonetheless, he kept them in his sock drawer. Then he retires. He's a former president. So Judicial Watch brings a lawsuit and says, hey, National Archive, go get those. We want to see some of those. So it gets in front of this Clinton judge, Jackson, in Washington. And what does she say? She reads the law, the Presidential Records Act, not the Espionage Act, or Clinton would be doing 50 years with his wife by now. No. He re she reads the Presidential Records Act. And you know what she concludes? I'll tell you what she concludes. She says the responding agency, the National Archives, the tapes were Mr. Clinton's personal records, therefore not subject to the Presidential Records Act or the Freedom of Information Act. The government's position was that Congress had decided the president and the president alone decides what is presidential record and what isn't. This is why they want to keep talking about the Espionage Act and not the Presidential Records Act. We had a legal analyst come on this network a few hours back, and he says, Presidential Records Act doesn't apply. It's the Federal Records Act because these documents weren't created by the Oval Office. I said, how much dumber is this going to get before this is over? It's what's in the possession of the president, not whether he created it or not, not whether the vice president created it, not whether the, the uh, staff created it. The president gets CIA information. The president gets uh, DIA information. The president gets all kinds of information. It comes into the Oval Office, some of which he might create, most of which he doesn't. One other thing. I have a question. For Bill Barr in particular, who's been very poisonous, Bill Barr, uh, why wouldn't the prosecutor seek a uh, civil remedy if he wants to seek any remedy at all? Why wouldn't he go to the court and say, I need an order, Your Honor, order them to turn all this stuff over under the Espionage Act? Well, if the judge is smart, the judge will say, get the hell out of my courtroom. What's this have to do with the Espionage Act? But maybe they're not so smart. Maybe they're as dumb as the guy that signed the warrant. And so what happens? You need three elements. You need an order. And what are the elements? A vow for contempt. Then a judge can say, okay, I ordered you to turn them over, and you didn't. Okay, they go back to the government and say, hold them in contempt, civil contempt. A valid order exists, clearly defining an obligation. The accused party has the ability to comply with the order. The accused party has willfully refused to comply with the order. Then they're held in civil contempt. Judge can decide if one of the lawyers goes to jail or something. You don't say, you know what, we're going to move this, as Barr did stupidly, actually. We're going to move this from the Presidential Records Act to the Espionage Act. Well, how did they do that? They decided to criminalize the case. This entire prosecution comes from the criminalization of the case. The wrong statute. The wrong statute. So you know what they're doing now, Sean, in America? They're beating up on the potential judge. Ah, oh, she better be careful. Oh, she's a Trump appointee. So they know what they're doing. These people are fascistic and Marxist. That's what they are. They used the wrong law. Donald Trump did not commit any crimes. He didn't obstruct justice. He didn't commit perjury. He didn't make false statements. It is the prosecutor. It is the attorney general who did this. And one other question for Merrick Garland. What the hell is it going to take you, pal, to appoint a special counsel against Biden? Allegations of bribery. 17 potential tapes. And yet, you know what, Sean? The attorney general knows all this. The FBI didn't turn this stuff over without briefing the attorney general. They have a very big table. I think it's on the fifth floor, and he sits there, and they tell him what he's going to do. Same with this prosecutor. The attorney general is the Svengali behind it all. And the deputy attorney general is the Svengali behind the attorney general. 
It's the wrong law. No president's ever been charged for violating the Espionage Act. Not Lyndon Johnson. Hillary Clinton wasn't charged. She wasn't even investigated for obstruction of justice. And one last thing. I do have to give Joe Biden some credit. 1917, Woodrow Wilson was president. He got this law passed, and he imprisoned 2,000 people including Eugene Debs, who was the socialist running for president. And he ran for president from prison and got 6% of the vote. Wilson was a segregationist and a racist. Joe Biden was a segregationist and racist. So there you have it, a former segregationist and racist and a past segregationist and racist using the Espionage Act to try and destroy our country. And by the way, you legal analysts who are coming on TV, try to educate yourselves. Try to look a little bit at history. Obviously, read the Constitution, read the case law, be a little bit informed before you go on TV and make an ass out of yourself. I'm done.